aircraft contrails could be unintentionally changing the atmosphere and exposing us to more solar radiation, researchers warn. When contrails dissipate, they leave an icy haze behind. Researchers think this is conducting unintentional engineering. Icy haze is gradually whitening blue skies. Small particles from air traffic are scattering sunlight in atmosphere. On a clear day you can usually spot a white trail from an airplane in the sky. They might be fun to look at, but they could also be the reason more solar radiation is reaching our surface, scientists have warned. Researchers have found new data that suggests the layer of crystals left from the contrails is causing a more diffused type of light. There isn't enough data to support how much of an effect the icy haze left by airplanes has had, but researchers believe it might be altering the climate system. This haze is caused by airplanes, and it is gradually whitening blue skies, said Charles Long of NOAA's Earth System Research Laboratory, at a press conference this week at the American Geophysical Union fall meeting. We might be actually conducting some unintentional engineering here. This theory comes from a previous study of how much sunlight reaches Earth's surface. From the 1950s to the 1980s, the sun's light seemed to deem then started coming back in full force, proving that energy isn't constant. When scientists looked for a cause, they tried linking these changes to the sun's variable output, said Martin Wilde of the Institute for Atmospheric and Climate Science at ETH Zurich during the press conference. The phenomenon occurs when aircraft fly above 25,000 feet, where the air temperature is around minus 86 F. This causes water vapor emitted by the engines to crystals and form the familiar white streaks across the sky, known as contrails. These can be short-lived. But if there is already a significant amount of moisture in the atmosphere they can linger for hours as the excess water vapor from the engines tips the surrounding air past its saturation point. This acts as a catalyst to speed up the natural process of cloud formation. Cirrus clouds, the wisp-like formations seen at high altitude, begin to form around the contrails. Scientists say these grow into thin layers of cloud and can cover up to an astonishing 20,000 square miles of sky. The level of moisture in the air at high altitudes is unrelated to weather conditions at ground level, which is why it is possible to see contrails on a clear day. Reading University's Professor Keith Schein, an expert in clouds, said that those formed by aircraft fumes could linger for hours, depriving those areas under busy flight paths of summer sunshine. Experts have warned that, as a result, the amount of sunlight hitting the ground could be reduced by as much as 10 percent. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. You can visit us on www.therealthingmeme.webs.com.